Rise up, please. And it doesn't matter where you are, whether you are in here, all the overflows outside, it does not matter. Let your heart be ready and open. And for a global family falling from across the globe, I want you to believe that everything you have heard is truth according to God's word. Go ahead and pray now. I receive your sent word. I receive your sent word. I receive your sent word. Someone is praying. I receive your sent word. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power. And your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Bring, Lord, bring, bring, Lord, bring, bring upon my life. Bring, Lord, bring. right here is the dynamics of walking in the supernatural I do not know what you wrote in your request hear me believers I don't know what pain brought you here some of you travel from nation to nation across the seashore to be here do not waste your moment some of you are coming here for the first time some of you are men of God businessmen parents young people politicians elders it does not matter the rule is the same he that cometh to god must come believing that he exists and then that he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him in one minute i'd like you to say father i am here now visit me visit me give me a testimony give me a testimony by the spirit of the living god are you praying God will surprise you that you can be sure you go ahead and pray the answers for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. I want you to listen carefully. If you came here with any kind of neck pain, any kind of neck pain, whether there's a bracelet on your neck or some medical, you cannot move your neck, any kind of neck pain, whether you are inside, you are outside, I want you to lay your hands there right now. The power of God is healing people. You are not able to move or you are not able to move well. Your neck, lay your hands there right now. Lay your hands there right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, necks, every neck pain, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare, let the healing power of Jesus rest upon that neck now. Rest upon that neck now. Rest upon that neck now. Amen. The power of God is coming on a lady right now. I'm seeing a device surgical procedure that is happening in your stomach. This is something that looks like a swelling around the left side of your stomach. But the power of God is touching you right now. Right now. Touching you by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
there's someone you cannot chew with the left side of your tooth it looks like um something is shocking you your molars is like you feel a lot of painful sensation right now as i'm speaking to you the power of god is resting upon you now i'm going to give you some instructions shortly but i just want you to follow something is happening Right now, please take it half for me. You are not going to shout. Just allow me to do the speaking. And I want you to bring all those under the anointing now when I make that declaration. You don't shout. Usually I'll ask you to shout, but the Lord is telling me something differently. And I want you, please, ushers, will be very, very fast. I'm seeing a door in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing. There are chains tied to that door and tied to people. This is what the Lord is showing me. And the Lord is saying these people need to be set free now. Some of them are whole families. Some of them are individuals who have been asking what is the cause of this issue in our life. Right now, I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone who is tied by any demonic chain of witchcraft i told your people that the price has been fully paid and i announce again to the realm of the spirit that every price for your liberty has been paid therefore in the name of jesus be released now be released now bring them out Yahweh is about Yahweh is about Yahweh is about Yahweh I'm seeing fire falling now and as soon as that happens please bring them out quickly there are chains that are going to be breaking right now age-long chains father in the name of Jesus everyone under the sound of my voice who has been bound by witchcraft of any kind at the count of three let those chains be broken now one two three break now break now break now break now break now I command those chains to be broken no matter how long they have tied you tied your family tied your destiny in the name of Jesus be broken right now chains of poverty chains of sickness afflictions of any and all kinds be broken now bring them out mysterious chains afflictions in the dream all kinds of things, eating demonic things, going to satanic places. I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I arrest them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I'm hearing in my spirit, remove names from covens in the name of Jesus. This one I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus. Any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven right now as you shout that name let fire burn everything right now one two three shout Jesus let it be burnt now let it be burnt now every ordinance every ill speaking every ordinance be broken be broken, blotting out every handwriting. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Please bring them out quickly. Whether you are an usher or not, if someone is under the anointing close to you, please bring them. There's a reason I ask you to bring them. The ushers are limited, my apologies, but please help them. Chains 
chains, 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 chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I'm hearing Kogi State. Kogi State. Kogi State. What is it that has to do with ancestry that is tying down people from that region? Right now, you are from that state. Anything that has happened, that has tied you down, be broken now. Be broken now. I'm hearing Kogi State. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Hallelujah. Now please hear me. The Lord wants to bring deliverance to families. If at all they marry, the women must return back to their parents' homes. I'm praying for you. I don't know what curse and what yoke is upon such families. But right now in the name of Jesus, by the authority that is in the finished work of Christ, let that curse be broken now. 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 I'm hearing in my spirit shame and reproach. Hear me. I preached a message here last year called Ichabod. There are many of you as you are standing now. There is no dignity and no honor in your life. Everything that represents honor for you and your family has been taken away by darkness. Can I pray for you? That veil, I, I tell you, I see the power of God resting on people right now. Every veil sitting on your head, covering your glory, bringing shame and reproach. I tear that veil now. I tear that veil now. I tear that fail now. I tear that fail now. I'm hearing a name Jennifer. Jennifer. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. Let me tell you, if God locates you, that's the end of it. Jennifer, I want to pray for you. There is one of you, I'm seeing that people don't rise. There's a spirit, I'm seeing like, like stones. This is what I'm seeing. Father, I don't know what altar has tied down Jennifer's destiny. But right now, by the power that is in the name of Jesus, let that altar catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Let it catch fire now. Yeah.